finally snowed. Welcome back to the good old Southern Eye. Hey everybody, it finally snowed down here. We actually ended up with probably maybe two inches, but then it's got ice on top of it too. During the winter, I pushed snow. Actually, my first YouTube video was me pushing snow, which that was a real gem. I really don't do a lot of snow removal. I just do a little bit of it. I kind of got into it. It really fell into my lap. Someone called, asked if I could move snow, and now I do a little bit of snow removal during the winter. A little bit of a payday, not much of a payday, but it also gets me out of the house getting something done. So normally I don't actually use the skid steer to push snow. I use a Kubota tractor to push snow. works good I can get around faster but when I started out pushing snow actually the first year I did it my dad and I bought a Bobcat 873 and I used that for the first year or two years and I had to drag it around on the trailer that got dangerous I actually ended up in the ditch one time and then I blew a hose on it and so I ended up just started using a tractor Hey, I liked the heat the heat was nice it's pretty nice to have heat when you're pushing snow and the fact that I can move around quicker and safer by using the tractor the tractor became the main tool but I will say that I can push a lot more snow quicker with the skid steer and today the skid steer was actually by where we were pushing snow so I put the snow blade onto it and we're gonna go have some fun All I ask is if you guys enjoy any part of this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Let's get to work. The first snow push of the year is usually pretty challenging. This gravel is still pretty loose under there, but it hasn't been driven over with like snow and ice to pack it in and make it a solid surface. So my blade can actually catch the gravel where you can see I get down to the gravel. So I'm just trying to skim my blade just over the gravel while removing enough snow so people can get around. Until it gets packed in, it's a little bit of a challenge. snow is the long snow blade I think it's a seven footer or six and a half seven footer ish it's got hydraulic so I can tilt the blade from one side to the other works pretty good it's actually got feet on it there and there which actually leaves it up off the dirt gravel a little bit so I don't cut in as bad but it still does seen on YouTube and it sparks my mind after I just got done with that development and I'll go do some neighbors I take care of a few neighbors that are elderly some of them have health problems uh, so I just remove the snow for them but what happens here is that now I've gone and done the snow removal for that development driveways are cleared out everything so these guys can get out to the road but around us the roads won't get plowed for another two to three days I, I've seen it as long as I think six days was the longest before we got plowed out and then it turned around and snowed that day and so then it was another like four days before we could have access in and out and we don't have the best of roads we got steep entrances and everything like that and I've actually seen on YouTube where the government will hire farmers or construction workers that aren't working with their heavy equipment this time of year to actually move snow we don't do that in Wayne County it, apparently they maybe used to do it or something like that but to me, it seems kind of like a no-brainer if you get farmers that have the equipment, uh, contract them out a couple of miles of road to take care of. And I understand there might be some liability issues with that, but wouldn't it be safer than someone getting sick and the ambulance not being able to get access to them because the roads are so bad? But then again, I'm not in government, so what do I know?
stick the sheriff today, so no get out of jail free card. got it done it took us about three and a half hours that's about the same time it takes with the tractor which means that it took I could plow faster but I can't travel as fast does that make sense but if you guys do enjoy these skid steer videos we got some pretty cool demos coming up here uh, that will probably be next week and we'll get another video out for you so if you like the skid steer videos make sure you hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel because if you haven't what the heck are you waiting on and we'll see you the next time down here in the good old southern IA Where I plowed it, where she got stuck. See, I plowed this. I can't tell if you can see this or not. But my driveway was plowed. It's open the window so you can see outside a little bit better. Driveway was plowed. And then they came along and they left this nice ridge right here, which is extremely hard for my girlfriend to get over. Well, we're having fun now. This most likely will not work. The chain that I have does not fit in there. So let's see. Come on, give some gas. Yeah. She's made it. Not all heroes wear capes, do they? Some of them wear bibs. <laughs> <laughs> 